Good morning. Good morning. It is day 13 in Florida. Today we are off to Magic Kingdom. We've had a little bit of a nightmare this morning. I've been up at like five, six o'clock every day. Um, so I was up to date to try and get on Tron um, on the virtual queue. Um, managed to get a boarding group, which is group 14. Um, we got called at 10 past eight. So we were up and getting ready. But that from 10 past 8, it gives you one hour to get there. Now, if anyone's been animal to Animal Kingdom, to Magic Kingdom, it takes about an hour to get to Magic Kingdom itself. You've got to drive there, you park up, and then you've got to get the monorail or the boat over. Um, by the time you get through gates and get a Tron, it could literally take an hour. We would have had to leave at 10 past 8 to get there. Um, the park doesn't open till 9 o'clock. It's open at 8 o'clock for resort guests. So we're a little bit confused as to... If you've got a virtual queue, can you get in before nine o'clock then? Or how does it work? So we're heading there now, it's like nine o'clock. Um, we're definitely going to miss this boarding group regardless. Um, so we're going to go and ask and see if they can do anything to help because it's our last day and we really wanted to go on Tron again. Um, at least we've been on once, I guess. Um, I just don't understand like the concept, isn't it? It's like, even if we're sat outside the park, like we physically wouldn't get there. So after then it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. It'd be such a rush, but hopefully they're nice enough to let it on because we've still got that reservation, so... Yeah, it's just it's very confusing as to what they wanted us to actually do or how it would have worked. Mm -hmm. If we couldn't get in the park till nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. Even then, like, depending on how big the queue is to get mm -hmm. through your tickets, if you got there at nine o'clock, you still might have been late to get there at 10 past yeah. nine anyways. Because we were boarding group 20 the other day for Guardians and then it was like after 11, half 11, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So I know you've got to be like quick and you've got to like be prepared, but 10 minutes is like a lot. I'm always thinking as well, we're group 14, like one four. So if the park opened at nine o'clock and you're group 14, you would assume that what, 10 o'clock? Maybe I don't know how long would it take to get 14 groups through mm -hmm. from nine o'clock. I expected it to be early, but I didn't expect you yeah, have 10 minutes to to get in to the park and get there. Yeah. So yeah, wish us luck that we can actually get on again. And if not, then we're just, yeah, going to be in Magic Kingdom regardless. And there's loads of lovely rides for us to go on. Just that's probably the only real like thrill at Magic Kingdom. The rest of them are a bit naff. So yeah, we'll keep you posted. Okay, so we're at Magic Kingdom, we made it, it's been a mad rush. Yeah, we just um, off the boat. Yeah, we've had to get the ferry boat because the monorail queue was crazy. So, we're the first off the ferry boat and there looks like there's massive queues here. So I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll keep you posted. It's so. currently 10 o'clock, so we're nearly over yeah. an hour. <laughs> but even if we're here at 9 o'clock, these queues are not saying 10 minutes to get to Tron, so, yeah. Okay, so we've got through the gate. We're just walking down Main Street for the last time. So sad. This definitely won't be our last trip to Disney though. We've already agreed, so. We'll walk back up here and we'll see Yeah. I haven't been in
I do bought the kids' version for themselves. That's why it's a bit smaller. So the prints are two different sizes. But I was fitting the kids' size, so I thought, why not? It's a bit of fitting, I like it a bit tight. But I didn't know the print was going to be like 10 sizes smaller. So look. Users, prepare to be digitized into the world of Tron. Okay, so we've just did the impossible. Obviously, we were like nearly an hour over our virtual wait time. We've just ridden Tron again. Um, we absolutely loved it. Such a good ride. We're just saying, like, we've been on like so many amazing rides this holiday that that one felt a bit like slow, not so very fast. The initial takeoff, you like fly off, but then the rest of it's quite slow. Um, but the ride, the vehicle, like with the being a motorbike and everything else, is like it, it is a really, really good ride. So if you've managed to get on, I definitely would. Um, we're gonna maybe try and go now and get some photos in front of the castle and um, some photo class ones. Yeah, obviously it's our last time here, so we'll keep the horses. Okay, so last we spoke, we got a couple of photo passes at the castle, and now we're just coming in to cool down. It's Phil Magic, is it called? Um, Mickey's Phil Har Magic. Phil Har Magic, um, just a little musical show. So we thought we'll come in here while we decide what we're going to do for food as well, because it's super hot today and we're sweating. So we want to try and find somewhere because a lot of places are just like stalls. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, so we've just got our Phil Hart magic. I swear to God, I'm traumatized off those rides. And the Bugs Life <laughs> one, what else have we been on? Um, the Bugs one, that one, and I can't remember. Either way, I don't like them. Squirt stuff in your face. You don't know what's happening. But it's on roller coasters, you know what's coming in. Where those, you're like just sitting there and getting wet. And God knows what else. It's nice to sit and cool down for five. Yeah, it's nice to have the break, but it's, yeah, yeah. an experience that is not for the faint hearted. Kids are screaming again and to get it out. Because it's like, <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna go and try and find somewhere for lunch and we're just gonna have a little look. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So we're just heading into Pinocchio's. Yeah, it is mobile order this way. Should we find? Hello. Hello. Pick up. Okay, so we're just in Pinocchio's now. It's quite busy. All of us did mobile order, but it's taken a while. And um, we're just sat in the middle here, but it's cute, isn't it, Oliver? Yeah, it's so cute, but it's just been like this for about 15 minutes. Yeah, all the humans love me in the light. Okay, so after a half an hour wait, I went with the pepperoni flatbread and guys, I ordered the pepperoni cheese one and fries. I took ages in there. So long. Yeah. Okay, time for Jungle Cruise. We've never done it before, so I thought we might as well just hop on. Tired, dead tired. So we're... See, I'm so confused. 
confused because I could go on with this for hours. <laughs> but genuinely. No. Okay, so we just managed to get on Jungle Cruise. Took about half an hour. Um, I mean, it was good. It's what it says on the tin. It was a cruise on the Jungle River and it was canny. It I was mean, like all fake animals and then the cast I mean, member real. was like, well, we've been on a safari that was Yeah, real. but that's made for that. But yeah, she was like, Telling walking out the jokes, jokes, but... <laughs> there weren't, for, there was just like sarcasm. Yeah. At least like, we've done it. If you see the top of this boat, see the bottom of the boat, if they swim, swim. Yeah. That was the type of thing she was saying. Okay, well, I'm gonna head to the toilet now and then try and suss out a plan. Okay, so we're saying goodbye at the castle for the last time. I know, sad time. I know. We've had the most amazing yes. holiday like in the world, yes. like best ever. And every time you come, I can imagine it being magical, but it was just that special first first visit. Yeah. It was just amazing, wasn't it? Rough forever. Yeah. But we'll be back. Watch this space. Yeah. Bye castle. Goodbye Main Street. It's honestly been the best part of Disney. So magical. So Halloween. Halloween. -y. We're just about to leave the park for the last time. Just move away from the bin. Got myself a nice iced matcha. Keep this going. Have the best time. Good. Okay, so we've just got off the monorail. Just heading back to the car now. We're, we don't actually know what we're gonna do now. I know, we're either going to pop to the outlets again because I want to get a couple of things or drive past the Grand Floridian just to see what it's like inside or I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. It's like one of those things where because it's our last day we don't want to just spend every minute in the park because there's so many other things we could be doing right now and we've been at the parks obviously yeah. a lot this holiday. We got here at like 9.30 so. Yeah. And we've done quite a few things that we wanted to do today. Like Tron was the main thing. Um, and it's nice just to be there. Yeah. Um, you could just wander around and not go on any rides and still have a great time. Um, it's so hot as well, isn't it? It's like so 31 hot. degrees. Uh huh. What is it? Yeah, I didn't say what to say it feels like, but we'll go on your own. It'll be like 38 or something. Yeah. So we just. Yeah, there's a, um, a trolley there, so we're going to jump on that and we'll catch up soon and let you know yeah. where we end up. So, guess where we ended up? This is not even my fault this time, this is Andrew's. No, it's my birthday in a few weeks and I'm just getting myself some bits off me bam. <laughs> so, we're at the Orlando Premium Outlet, but it is the best. Okay, so we haven't vlogged for a while because we've been that guy, but we're back in Walmart. Well, we haven't been knackered, we've just been a bit like dashing around, mm -hmm. um, so we haven't really had a chance to get the camera out. Yeah. So we're on Andrew's phone. Yeah, so we're just gonna have a quick look in here. We've just had a subway, we're gonna go back to the room and get back. So, yeah. I know, sad times, but needs most. We need to like, yeah, we've bought so much stuff since we've been here, so we need to like particularly pack it all and make sure we're uh, yeah. Yes. Hi! Okay, so <laughs> Andrew's been stupid. Um, so our vlogs are going to be coming to an end now. It's our very last night in Florida. Mm -hmm. um, we've just been to Walmart, just got back and had a little chill for an hour or so. I had a subway. Mm -hmm. No, we've already, they already know that. We already no, know but them. we're just recapping. Yeah. We had and a then, subway and yeah, came back. Yeah, now our cases are out packing last minute bits and pieces. I've got fingers and toes crossed that we're not over our weight. Um, we did bring a like case on the plane, like hand uh -huh. luggage, that basically had nothing in, so we've tried to fill that up. Because we prepped it full by and stuff, but obviously Oliver's gone a bit overboard. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, like, people talk about the outlets and say that they're good, but like, I didn't expect, like I could have bought so much more. Mm -hmm. Like, we ha we've had to stop ourselves. Um, but yeah, we've honestly had the best time. Obviously, we'll bring you home with tomorrow a little bit while we can, but um, 
bring his home with us. It's in your own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll try and squeeze him in that yellow <laughs> little hand luggage we've got. <laughs> But yeah, I just, I'm so sad. Honestly, I had the best time. I could cry, but I'm not going to. We're saying that, like, you build up a little world here. Like, we've never been away for a full two weeks before. Mm-hmm. We've only done, like, nights. ten nights, and it's like, it's just been so lovely. Sorry, the telly's a bit loud. Right, you're going to have to cop. Um, <laughs> it's not working. Um, we've had the best time, like... Honestly, like, memories to cherish, cherish forever. Um, <laughs> no, the best time. It's, like, memories magical. I know that people say, like, you've got to do it, you've got to do it, but you have got to do it. Like, it's been a dream. Like, when you're here, everything you see on telly, like, it's ten times better when you're here. The rides are amazing. The atmosphere, the smells, like, everyone's lovely. We've done everything that we possibly wanted to do. And, and more. more. Yeah. I think going to Universal has kind of topped it for us because yeah. it was always a question mark over whether we were going to make it. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I do still stand by, like, we could have did just the full two weeks in Disney. Like, mm-hmm. and because the, there's still so much that we want to do. We still want to mm-hmm. try restaurants. We still want to go to some of the resorts. Like, we tried to go to the Grand Floridian today and they wouldn't let us in in the car. It's just for hotel guests. guests only. I don't know if it's that all the time, but... It's a shame, but we've we've seen the outside of it. We're wanting to just maybe walk in the lobby and just have a little and wander go, around. We've watched vlogs where there's like there's like a shop and stuff inside mm-hmm. and restaurants and things like that. And I think we needed to not be in the car. I think we needed to be like just have got the monorail there or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, keep talking. The remote on this TV it's is horrendous. being playing up all the way. You've got to take a battery out and twist it and put it back in. Um... But we've said we're going to come back mm-hmm. anyway, so we're going to try and plan a holiday for next year. We, d- we did every park at least three times, didn't we? Like, Animal Kingdom we did three times. Twice? Two or three times? But, uh <laughs> We did every park three times, no, we did Animal Kingdom twice. The only thing we didn't get to do was the Halloween, like the Horror, Horror Nights, and Mickey's Not So Scary. But we weren't 100% fussed when we were on doing it. Like, Horror Nights... We've heard loads of good things about it, but... My, it's uh, genuinely not it's my not cup of tea. It's not his cup of tea. It's not personally mine, but, like, I would have loved to have ticked it off, but... Mm, getting paid to, like, terrify myself. We've had enough of that in some of these friggin' rides right, and that, so... The thought of, like, walking mm-hmm. through a tunnel and people screaming in your face and stuff, like, just does not appear to us at all. Like, yeah. paying $200 to do that, uh-huh. like, just not my cup of tea. And then Mickey's, we genuinely would have done Mickey's, but it was sold out. It like, was sold it was out, yeah. Sold out. It was sold out. And we've seen a lot of Magic Kingdom on an evening in any ways when we watched the fireworks. It was very Halloween-y and stuff. And so all we missed was the parade and the show and getting the, the candy. Sweet, yeah. Um, but there's, there's time for that next time. But we've done a lot of stuff outside of Disney, like... Going to Celebration, going to the outlets, going to International Mall Drive, of Millennia. Mall of Millennia, just loads of things Typhoon like that. Typhoon Lagoon, all that still Disney, mm-hmm. but... But, like, we wouldn't change it for the world. We've been here for two weeks. We've been to every park, like, three, four times. Some five, Epcot. <laughs> um, weather's been hit and miss, but honestly, like, this hotel was saying, if anyone's due to stay here at the Rosen Inn, Lake Bonavista... Lake Bonavista. Would like, highly, highly, uh-huh. highly recommend. Can't fault it. Location, like, you're yeah, ten minutes away from every park. Um, the room's big. Like, uh-huh. that's what I said, like, on video, it, the rooms are quite small, but there's, they're very spacious. Yeah. Your room gets cleaned every single day. Every day. We're better yeah. done every day. Yeah. Aircon's great. Uh-huh. Um, spacious. It's a little bit dated, I would say, the oh, decor. Oh, it's definitely dated, the, the decor, but, but for the time that you're actually in your hotel, like, mm-hmm. the pool, we think the pool, the pool's great, they give you towels, although mm-hmm. we're broad towels, so we didn't need them, but you've got towels around mm-hmm. the pool. Um, you get a safe, you don't need to pay for the safe or anything like that. Well, are saying a lot of, like, this hotel is probably closer than a lot of the Disney parks, in a sense, because some of them, like, you're literally on the motorway and you're there at every park, so really good. Like, I wouldn't fault it at all, like... Mm-hmm. The aircon's a bit noisy, not going to lie, but it's really good. Um, but we've loved it. Couldn't fault it at all. We'll definitely stay here again if we needed to. Um, so, yeah. Like, I'd look to book this again, mm-hmm. like, if we're looking to come again. Yeah. I, I, I've got no reason to mm-hmm. go anywhere else unless it's, it was dramatically more expensive than somewhere. Mm-hmm. Would love to stay on site one time on a Disney hotel, but 
it's like it's not changed anything for her. like it's been really good the only benefit will be like the park and then maybe he's going in the parks earlier like, earlier and later yeah. dropping stuff it's been a tiring two weeks like our bodies are exhausted sweated out toes. blistered but it's been worth it like the jet lag mainly for you has been real but mm-hmm. Worth it, so worth it. Like. I've still been awake at like five o'clock mm. every morning, like for the full two weeks. Could have done another week. Don't get us wrong, I feel like we've been away for about a month. Like when you think back to like the first day, we're saying, hey, remember that time we're in Casey's corner? I remember that time that we were like watching the fireworks? And you know what I mean? It does feel like a long time ago, but it's just been magical. Mm-hmm. Honestly, best time ever. I'm never going to forget it. Ever, ever, ever. Yeah. Okay, so we'll check out and wish us luck with packing and wish us luck that they're not going to be overweight. Mm-hmm. Ask Clay for save. Yes. Yes, and we'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye. Also, one other perk about this hotel that we didn't mention is that you can actually see the fireworks at Epcot on an evening. So I'll just turn the camera around and you'll be able to see. The focus is... You can see over there, those are the fireworks in Echo. So it's nice to watch on an evening. Hello! Hi! Um, so it's the final day, we've just checked out of the hotel. We're both super sad. I don't want to talk about it. It just doesn't feel real when you've been somewhere for two weeks and then you've just got to leave and say bye and then go back to normal life. It's like, what? Yeah. So we're now just embarking on our journey to uh, Melbourne Airport. It takes about an hour and a half. Um, our flight's at 10 to 5 this afternoon. So it's a good flight time, at least you're not up and out super early. Mm. The only um, thing is we fly through the night, so it's going to be a dark one. And I think we're gonna, like our sleeping patterns are going to be all over. 100%. Because we're going to have jet lag regardless. Um, and I'm already tired, so... Not what you need. Um, so yeah, we'll keep you posted, but it's probably going to be a quick update today because there's not really much to show. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Hi, so... Apologies for the big jump, but we've made it to the airport. It's been a bloody nightmare, not going to lie. Yeah. Um, the car journey was absolutely fine. We put some petrol in. We had to fill up the car before we dropped it off. Check all the mileage, the fuel levels. I took a video of the car just to make sure there was no bumps, scratches or anything that they could come back on. Dropped the keys off. Um, and then this has to start, back yes. basically. So check in. We could check in. There was a huge long queue. Got to the front and Susan on the desk. Obviously, we got the useless person. the blunt one. Um, should we put it like that? So she just pretty much said that um, Oliver's case was too heavy. It was twenty six point seven, twenty six point seven or something. What only meant to have twenty five? So fair enough. Mine was twenty four point one. So I was like, could we put some of his stuff into my case? And she was like, no, because it's over twenty four. We'll have to round it up. It's got to be 25, so you can't put anything in there. So you have to decanter some stuff and put it into your hand luggage. Bearing in mind, my hand luggage is full Full. to the brim. So I was like, can we just ask? Because I said, I I I said, well, I know, but that's not 25 kilograms. So surely we can put some stuff in his. Uh I was like, no, no, you can't. It's way, way round it up. I was like, I know, but it's actually, it physically isn't. I was like, either way, even if I make it up to 25, it's still going to be 25. Like... But she was having none of it and anyway so I had to leave the line go to the side repack Oliver's case and put some stuff in my hand luggage and we put too much in that it was underway and Oliver's was even less than mine yeah mine was like 24 <laughs> whatever it was yeah but anyways um, that was fine we got through and then we got security Oliver was fine and then my hand luggage started beeping had to go through again had to take full shoes off everything I had to get patted down and then the speaker flagged up even though the woman on the counter said it was so strange so usually you've got to take out your liquids you've yeah. got to take your watch off i could walk through with my apple watch on 
Um, she didn't want me liquids. Didn't, she, she didn't want any liquids out, nothing. It's just like as long as it's under 100, mm -hmm. just leave it in your bag. She just had laptops, um, gaming, any gaming. gaming and laptops. So the speaker, like my little portable like, speaker, portable uh -huh. speaker, that flags up. They've got to put it through again. The woman's dead rude. I was like trying to help her find it. She went, Can you not touch the bag? I was like, It's my bag. <laughs> Anyways. We're trying to find the speaker that you're looking for yeah. to help you. So we've got like three hours, two and a half hours or something to wait in a very, very small airport. But all of us just went and got a snack from the butcher block. Chef Fresh barbecue chicken ranch wrap. We just got to say we're going to share it because yeah. we're not really hungry. And then a peculiar size bottle of Coke. And then I've still got these spicy queso crisps that I got um, from the Walmart. But, uh, I'm gonna have a snack and refuel. How's your bath? Well, it's actually nice. It's nice. Oh good. Just need, need to pick me up and then we'll get food on the plane as well. So we'll keep you posted if any other shenanigans happen. Hi, so we're just waiting aboard the plane. It's delayed. Uh, about 20 minutes. <coughs> we do a flight. 10 to 5 and it's now about 10 past 5. So yeah, even though the plane's been there for ages, it's just been sat there. So. This yeah. airport has been very slow yeah. with everything. But yeah, we're heading off. We're getting on now, so wish us luck. A long travel day. Yeah, for our bags. I know. Hopefully it's not too long. Yeah. Hopefully I've right. lost another wheel. I know. <laughs> so yeah. But yeah, we're so tired, but so glad to be back. I know. So yeah. Thank you for watching.